Thanks, Jane. You're watching Southeast Today. Our top story tonight. Clearing her name, an Eastbourne sub postmistress has her fraud conviction quashed in light of the Horizon scandal. And hundreds of thousands of pounds are spent improving security for GPs in Kent. Hello, we start tonight with the former sub-postmistress from Eastbourne who today had her fraud conviction overturned after 14 years. Kathleen Crane was ordered to repay nearly £19,000 and was given a 12-month community order back in 2010. But she was among the hundreds of people wrongly accused of stealing because of the faulty Horizon computer system. Kathleen appealed against her conviction two weeks ago, but the former BBC Radio Surrey presenter Nick Wallace, who brought the story to public attention, has told our reporter Claudia Sebasis that the scandal is far from over. This is one of the greatest miscarriages of justice in our nation's history. A nightmare. I used to just, the tears keep rolling down my eyes when I, when I, when I start thinking about it. We used to count again and again, and checking that we have counted right. For a person to go through the system when he hasn't done nothing wrong, it's so sad. Just three people, and yet another 980 were also prosecuted. Today, Kathleen Crane was the first to have her conviction quashed since the government announced they'd exonerate and compensate. Nick Wallace was in court. To see her sitting in court, she burst into tears when the judges quashed her conviction, but she was able to compose herself and then come outside, and there's some great pictures of her with her hands raised in the air with her daughters either side of her. And she, you know, her whole being just completely changed. It was just lovely to see. Speaking outside the Royal Courts of Justice, Kathleen Crane said her horrible experience was over now. She urged others to come forward, adding, if you're innocent, you should have your conviction quashed. With the, the Court of Appeal um, hearing a case so quickly that hopefully others will also see that there is a... Um, real hope for their situations being, as I say, reconsidered. Nick Wallace came across the story by chance whilst presenting breakfast on BBC Radio Surrey in 2011. He then made an episode of Inside Out. The last one, Seema Misra, is behind bars. Convicted of... After the programme aired, the producer was inundated with emails. And I emailed him back saying, is this normal, getting this kind of reaction to an investigation like this? And he said, I've never seen anything like this before. And still more people came forward. In 2017, 555 sub-postmasters took legal action against the post office. In 2019, it agreed to pay them £58 million in compensation, but much of the money was swallowed up by legal fees. A public inquiry began in February 2021. Oh, my God. It, it, it's, it's just doubled right in front of my eyes. But it wasn't until this drama aired a few weeks ago that more than a million people signed a petition and the British government reacted. This drama has lit a fire underneath the body politic and, and created movement in the judiciary and the criminal justice system as well as the executive. And, and that's the phenomenal effect of, of what a well-crafted piece of media can actually do. As well as the public inquiry, the Met Police is now looking at a charge of conspiring to pervert the course of justice within the post office. Claudia Sebasis, BBC South East Today. The NHS has spent around £600,000 improving security at GP practices in Kent because of abusive patients, BBC South East has been told. Across Kent and Sussex, 340 patients have been removed from their GP practice list because of their abusive behaviour. It comes after we reveal that attacks on hospital staff in the region have risen by 30% since 2018. When we asked somebody to move their car so that their doctor could get out to go and do a home visit, that person actually went and spat on the handles of all of our cars. And that's shocking. But that was just contained to, to, to myself. Uh, but the, uh, what's happening now is that the, the aggression is becoming more and more violent. 
A court has heard a baby girl would still be alive were it not for the reckless, utterly selfish, callous, cruel, arrogant and ultimately grossly negligent conduct of her parents. Constance Martin and her partner Mark Gordon are on trial at the Old Bailey for the manslaughter of their newborn daughter Victoria. Her body was discovered on the 1st of March in a Brighton shed after a week-long police search for the family. The pair deny the charges and the trial continues. A plan to tackle a culture of racism, homophobia and sexism at Brighton and Hove's Waste and Recycling Service have been agreed by the City Council. Serious whistleblowing complaints have been made about the culture at City Clean. A report was discussed at a meeting today. We are taking forward all 10 of the recommendations made by the KC that conducted the inquiry and we are leading a programme of culture change at City Clean to ensure that all of our staff can work in a comfortable, respectful atmosphere and that our residents get the high quality service that they deserve. Time now for a look at the South East weather. Here with all the details is Rachel Mackley. Good evening. It's been a grey, dreary day today. It is a warm front we've had, though, so temperatures quite mild. A cold front tonight, wet and windy, and behind it, it's drier, but feeling a touch cooler. Now, earlier we had one or two scattered showers around. Into tonight, for a time, we're going to be largely dry, but towards the early hours of tomorrow morning, that cloud cover is thickening, and we've got some heavy and persistent rainfall. Overnight temperatures hardly changing from daytime values. Overnight lows, if we can call it that, of 11 or 12. 12 degrees. It's really blustery though as that rain passes through and behind it it's going to be a lot cooler. So we start the day for Friday relatively mild, lots of sunshine around, those winds back to a northerly direction and temperatures actually dropping by the afternoon with highs there of 8 degrees. Thank you Rachel. Well that is it from me and the rest of the late team. Kirstine O'Sullivan will be back in the morning from 6.30. Good night.